so I just had a thought. I have my tactics set up. No, I call them tactics. Um, so that even my party members will use these um, focus abilities. I think I'm going to change that so that they don't. I'm going to disable it and that way I can decide when they use their focus abilities. I think that's what I'm going to do because I think they're using them on just regular, um, regular foes and I'd rather them save them for um, more important foes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off his Firestorm. That's a focus ability. And uh, Pull of the Abyss. Nope. Nope, that's the only one that he's got. Uh, and then Iron Bull, he's got um, Rampage. We'll turn that off. Okay, so hopefully I'll remember to use those in important moments. Because see, if you look right now, well, my bar is maxed. Cole's bar is maxed. No, oh, everybody's bar is maxed, so I guess they haven't been using them. But regardless, I'm going to decide when is the proper time to use those abilities. Where the hell made that noise? Some kind of bird. Alright, we'll cut through here. This isn't really the most exciting mission, I'll tell you. Just fighting a bunch of random red Templars, yay. Not that exciting. It's not much of a challenge. Um, I mean, I, I'm not playing on a real tough difficulty. And I'm not really sure that I would want it to be more of a challenge either. But it's not the most interesting thing in the world either, so. Good hunting, Inquisitor. Oh, thanks. We are keeping them at bay. Follow okay. the river to the temple. Okay, alright. Okay, and there's still somebody else alive over here. Where is he? Uh, let's pick up this guy's guts. Horror claws, a creature research item. Okay. Uh huh. There is something in here this guy's fighting. And it will soon be dead. And it is now dead. Well, no, it's not either. There we go. Now it's dead. Man, another supply cache. Seriously? Do I really need a supply cache? Uh, the answer is no. Archmage Ice Staff. Pick up this guy's guts. Horror Claws. Alright. Alright, let's keep walking, everybody. Uh, hopefully we're almost there. Oh, there's stuff behind us now. How did this happen? Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my, there's more of them down here than I thought. Uh huh. Nope, oh, somebody behind us. I see you, Sentinel Shadow. Alright, now you're dead. Now I see your dead body on the ground. That's what I see. What? More loot. All kinds of loot. Too bad these Red Templars don't carry better loot. Alright. Oh. Better pick it up. Oh, now there's more guys back here? What the hell? Are these guys just going to keep spawning indefinitely? Yeah, let's go back here and make sure we clean these guys out, or is it just one guy that's back here? Somebody we missed. What is this? Let's help this guy out. <laughs> oh, more guys? Uh-huh. I'm wondering if we should just head to the final blockade. Oh gosh, now there's even more guys. I mean, you know, at least we're getting experience doing this, but um, how important is that at this point of the game? I don't know. 
Now there's even more guys this way. Weren't we just here? Not really. Alright, let's go in and take care of these guys. They're dead. Everybody calm down. Assassin weapon. Am I collecting those? They're just kind of randomly lying around. Well, not randomly. They're lying around in the loot caches of the people we kill. So, I don't know. Makes me think that there must be a um, requisition for them or something. I'm not going to pick any more of that crap up. Another one? Come on, jeez. This is getting old. There's some loot I didn't get before. Better get it. Very important. Tails loaded wool. It is a tier 3 rare cloth, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's pick it up. Can't leave stuff lying on the ground. Gosh, okay, I think I'm just going to head for the, um, is this loot in the concrete here? Yeah, I think I'm just going to head for the freaking blockade, because if I just keep running around here, I'm just going to, I mean, because we, we were already here, we've already fought people here, and this looks like this could just go on forever, and I'm not interested in doing this forever, so we'll go ahead and take these last two. Oh, gosh, there's a whole bunch of them in here now. Wonderful. Or these sentinel shadow guys. Alright, let's pick up the loot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, supply cash we don't need again. Alright, so they said to follow the river. I don't know if we could make it over this here, right here. Doesn't look like it. No. Okay, so we'll go over here to the river. Yeah, I'm not going to keep running around in circles here fighting these guys. You're on your own. You're on your own, guys. Oh, it looks like i got to fight some of them anyway. Oh, crap. Oh, what's this back here? Interesting looking loot chest. Ring of guard protection. Or penetration. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, I hate to just run past these guys and not give them any help, but uh, I'm starting to think that I might just have to do that because otherwise I'll be here forever. Whoa! Keep going. So we'll go over here to the river. If there's anything neat in here. Get out of my way. Nothing really? Because this is kind of a neat little place. I thought there'd be something hiding in here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh well, whatever. Let's get out of here. Follow the river. Okay. Should be right around here. This final blockade. Temple gates. Okay. Yep, here we are. Let's fight them. And then after this, we will enter the Temple of Mythal. Oh, look at this party over here. Break it up, guys. Break it up. Senior Warden. Senior Warden. Okay. Alright. You're all dead. So those guys weren't really tough to fight through at all. Just uh, so many of them. Wow. Somebody has a very noisy spell. Agate Cameo. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, 
So now, holy cow, way over here? Jeez, I guess we have to fight our way over here now. All right. Whoa. Oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Hey, birds. Another supply cache. Well, might as well go ahead and have everybody take a potion. So we're all maxed out. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody take one. Supply cash. Yay. Supplies replenished. Loot. What's in here? Some grains. Pyrophyte. Okay. Must be. In front of us, rage burning red. So close to what he wants, what he was, what he will be. Corypheus. I hear fighting ahead. Oh. The wretch mocks you, master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. was pretty neat. That was a pretty cool force field they had there. That was cool. Huh, Cole's got his hat off. takes over another body. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Well, this is your new home. Last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. If he's here for a mirror, why'd Corypheus say he wants a well of sorrows? I am uncertain of what he referred to. Uh, are they the same thing? They be the same. Could Alluvian translate into well of sorrows? No. It seems an Alluvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. Corypheus cannot die. Destroy his body and he will assume another. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. Tis strange. Archdemons possess the same ability and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. 
Hmm. Oh, we could talk to Morrigan, huh? Let's talk to Morrigan. Yes. Is Corypheus truly immortal? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies. That is the real question. Mm, will answering it help us? Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Where are we in the temple? Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. Uh, you bow? I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can <laughs> predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. Very true. Well, tell me about Mythal. You said this Mythal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mathal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge, and yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mathal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. And what accounts are those? There are varied accounts of Mathal. In most stories, Mithal writes wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mithal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales, I assume. Oh, you know more, Solace? If you know more about this, Solace, speak. The oldest accounts say Mithal was both of these. And neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. Uh, exiled to the beyond? What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf, as all the elven gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? So who are these temple elves, anyway? You've seen the elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren. Cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two... These are elves descended from the ancients, having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Let's see what kind of special questions we could ask. Um, it would be unheard of. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? Discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however, find these elves reluctant to part with their long kept secrets. Hmm. Can we still ask her questions? Yes. Okay, well, same questions. Alright, I guess that's all then. If I could select it, there we go. Let's continue. Well, well, well. Uh, let's just run up here just to see if they, they left any goodies for us at the door. It's a pretty cool door. No goodies at the door. 
So we are supposed to find a way deeper into the temple. And um, straight ahead looks as good of a guess as any, but any other one. But we'll do that next time because it is break time for me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you consider leaving a like or a comment. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next episode.